So for foundation I'm going to be using my Dream Satin Liquid and I'm going to be using my Angled Top Kabuki and just blending this into the skin. As you can see I am a fake tan at the moment so I'm going to be using the shade 10 Ivory which is still quite dark for the palest colour. So I'm just going to apply this onto my skin. in place I'm going to be using my NYC Swale Skin Press Powder which I do need to get some more I have run out of this a lot of times so I'm just going to set that in place with a big fluffy brush and this also helps just to keep the foundation in place all day long my elf eyebrow kit as the picture of Cara Delevingne that I've got on here her eyebrows are quite dark so I'm going to be using the gel on this side which obviously helps to keep the hairs in place so I'm just going to roughly draft out my eyebrow shape Now I'm just going to set that in place with the powder. This is in the shade light if you didn't know what colour I use. This is like a, I would say a medium brown colour. So obviously if you do have medium brown hair, then this one would be good for you. using my Lorac behind the scenes this is a really really good primer it does make your eyeshadows last really really long on the skin so that is what it looks like it's just like a pinky sort of cream I'm just going to apply this on all of my eyelids well I have only got two but on two of my eyelids I'm just going to blend this in using my finger. This is really, really easy to blend out and it does get rid of all of the veins in your eyes and any like, discoloration you have. I don't tend to have discoloration in my eyelids. I just have quite a couple of veins. And then I'm going to apply some translucent powder to my eyelids which helps the eyeshadows to blend easier because obviously the eye shadow primer is quite tacky so I'm just going to apply some powder on there to help the blending of the eyeshadows if you do have that problem where you cannot blend your eyeshadows because the eyeshadow is quite tacky or sticky then definitely use a translucent powder and obviously this just helps to make the eyeshadows blend easier on the eyelids and from the Makeup Revolution I Heart Chocolate Palette I'm going to be taking this shade here which is like a caramel sort of brown colour and I'm going to be using my 224 blending brush I'm just going to be placing this into the crease Again, from 
the chocolate bar palette I'm going to be taking this shade here and just going over where I've just placed that brown shadow And then for the eyelids, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Baked Eyeshadow Quad in Pure and Innocent. And I'm going to be using this shade here. I'm just going to be using my finger and just placing this on my lid. If you wonder why I keep looking over there, it's just because obviously the picture of Cara Delevingne is on my laptop so if you keep wondering why I look over there it's just because obviously I'm looking at the picture and then obviously it looks like she has some sort of inner corner highlight so I'm going to be using it that same colour again and just place this in the inner corners as you can see it does make the eyes appear more awakened which I love and then using my Essence eyeliner pen in waterproof I'm going to be doing a small wing on the top lash line not very big whatsoever it's literally just the tiniest line and she has got like a little flick at the top which I'm gonna do as well just at it has tended a thick eyeliner but I'm just going to work with it and just keep it thick because there's nothing I can do about it now so this is just what happens when I do thick eyeliner all the time it just ends up thick because I'm used to doing thick eyeliner and that is why it ends up being thick so if you do get a thick eyeliner just keep working with it, it's fine. My next jumbo eye pencil in milk, I'm going to line my lower lash line. And from the picture it actually looks bluish. So I'm going to apply this first and then apply like a bluish shadow over the top. over the top of the NYX Jumbo Wire Pencil and what I'm using is the shade Earth which is like a bluey white colour I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara and I'm just going to be coating my top lashes with this but as you can see from the picture in the um, the thumbnail, her eyelashes are quite short and I've just got, I've just got mascara on my eyelid to just keep on coating my lashes if nothing's happened For the rest of the face, I'm going to be using my Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. 
And I'm lightly placing this just underneath my eyes, just to clean up any fallout that I've had from the eyeshadows, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin. bronzing powder which I haven't used in a while so I thought I would go back to it. I'm going to be using my just a fibre duo fibre brush and I'm going to be just bronzing up the skin. Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll, which this is a maze balls. It is definitely one of my favourite pigmented blush. I absolutely love this, and I definitely am going to get more of Essence products because they are really, really good. So I'm going to go over that with some translucent powder that just helps to blend everything together. Now I'm going to be using my lip liner from Jordana in Tawny. I'm just going to be lining my lips. From the picture it does look like a peachy corally colour. But I haven't got a peachy coral coloured lip liner. So I'm just going to use this one. For the coral colour, I'm going to be using this Smooch Hot Lips lipstick in the shade Hot Lips. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques lip liner brush. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild lipstick in Pink Sugar. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this Cara Delevingne inspired makeup tutorial. Everything that I used in this video will be listed down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.